So vaccination in pregnancy is a very important aspect of prevention of health issues for women who are pregnant, especially some infections that can occur. By providing vaccinations for the women during their pregnancy, they can prevent infection for themselves and affecting their unborn baby, as well as provide uh, effective immunity to the baby until it can be immunized on its own at, after several months. The other factor is that if the women are infected with these infections, they are more likely to spread it to their family and other loved ones. So that is an additional benefit. Planning for a pregnancy is so important for lots of reasons, but one of the things women should think about is what infections um, they've had or they are immune to before they become pregnant. There are several infections, uh, many viruses, etc., that can cause harm during a pregnancy, including measles, mumps, rubella, chickenpox, or varicella. And if a woman is unsure of whether she's immune to these infections or not, so she should uh, see her healthcare provider for the blood test to see whether she has immunity or not to these infections. Um, and then, if not, uh, can receive a vaccination um, that is uh, very safe. But because it contains an attenuated virus, we prefer that it is uh, actually administered and completed a, a, at least a month before she becomes pregnant. And this is uh, fascinating. I think all women and their families want to do their very best for their baby. And hesitancy often is because of a lack of understanding of the extreme benefit and very low risk to these uh, immunizations. I think as uh, physicians and other care providers, uh, we can make a difference by being a strong advocate, providing information on the safety and the, uh, the benefit that is uh, to these vaccinations. I personally will always speak about my own uh, preference and uh, enthusiasm for my family and myself to be immunized every year with, ever, with whatever vaccination that I feel is important. And I think once women understand the benefit and the lack of uh, risk, I think most women actually choose to go ahead with the vaccinations. I think as um, caregivers we have a, a major role in being an advocate and make, making sure that there is a clarity about the benefit and the absence of risk to them. It's interesting that hesitancy seems to be less during pregnancy than for their children. There are all these misinformation about risks to newborn and early childhood immunizations which actually don't seem to come up with the women. Uh, but I think that um, women don't understand often that the influenza vaccination, for instance, and the benefit of the Tdap vaccination is to their baby as well as themselves because often they don't understand the severity of these infections if they were pregnant. I think uh, vaccine hesitancy is mainly because of a lack of knowledge. And number one, for the unquestionable benefit and the absolute absence of risk. Women always will do the best, for, want to do the best for their baby and when they understand why we offer it and what can happen when these illnesses occur to them in pregnancy and they can be prevented, uh, most women will be enthusiastic to get the vaccination. In pregnancy, the, the vaccinations we recommend are two specifically, and sometimes others depending on the woman's needs, where she's traveling and so on. But specifically, because of changes in the immune system in pregnancy, uh, women, if they were to get immune, uh, influenza, become very sick, and they can affect them and their, their, their developing baby. So uh, immunization is recommended at any stage in pregnancy as soon as it's available um, at the time of the season. The other vaccination we recommend is the Tdap vaccination, which again has just recently been recommended by all our national organizations. And the Tdap vaccination, the tetanus, diphtheria, and acellular pertussis vaccination, is useful for boosting the woman's her own immunity, but, my, but primarily it also provides immunized, uh, immunity to her baby before her, the child's own immunization series can be started at two months. And I think that these two 
uh, immunizations, if uh, women understand the benefit to them and their baby, um, almost all women will go ahead with this. That is important. Uh, most vaccinations actually have never been shown to be causing harm, but there are some vaccinations including the MMR vaccination and the varicella uh, vaccination, which because they do contain uh, um, attenuated viruses, we don't recommend them in pregnancy. Uh, but of course, if by accident that they are administered, it would never be a reason to be, let's say, terminate the pregnancy for sure. So many women travel during their pregnancy and we often, well, it's very important that they get the appropriate advice for what to do to protect themselves. Certainly travel to or countries where there is an infectious disease risk, uh, um, such as countries where you might pick up malaria, yellow fever or Zika, um, they should be avoided. If they have to travel to those areas, there are some important things they can do to protect themselves. Um, such as making sure that their food is properly cooked, um, any milk products are properly pasteurized, um, avoid exposure to um, um, uh, foods that are kept outside for periods of time, and also protect themselves from mosquitoes, uh, such as wearing long clothes and using mosquito nets, and using some very safe uh, mosquito repellent, such as DEET, which is safe in pregnancy. If they have to travel, and um, they discuss this with the caregiver. There are vaccinations that are safe in pregnancy depending on what they're doing. The examples would be hepatitis, uh, typhoid for instance, and if there is an extreme risk to them, sometimes even vaccines such as um, yellow fever, rabies, and even Japanese encephalitis vaccinations are uh, sometimes given. I think anyone looking after pregnant women has a responsibility to provide adequate information so that they understand the benefit of, some, of at least two immunizations in pregnancy. Uh, this is the standard of care now and caregivers can provide a, the unquestionable benefit and safety of these vaccinations which are the influenza vaccination at any stage in pregnancy when it's available and the Tdap vaccination, which now is recommended between 21 and 32 weeks to provide uh, protection not only to the woman, but her baby until its own immune system can be uh, developed because after the immunizations. Well, fortunately, with some support of the Public Health Agency of Canada, the SOGC is developing a online, um, up-to-date, accredited education program on immunization in pregnancy. Um, this uh, program is using some innovative methods of enhancing learning and it will achieve, will allow participants to achieve whatever learning goals they want in the program. It will be set up in modules uh, uh, which will discuss each element of vaccination in pregnancy uh, using um, case studies, and uh, so that will encourage uh, um, ability to recognize uh, this kind of patient and also improve engagement. Um, in addition, there are some tools that are in the program that will be useful for the caregiver, not only after they, uh, during the, the, doing the program, but also after when they finish. Uh, there's an example of a, uh, a interesting question and answering period about, uh, let's say, TD, Tdap in pregnancy, which is very good.